If you're an out-of-state investor looking for low-cost properties, I'm here to help you out. But I'm not just going to sell them to you. No. I'm going to make sure I provide you with the good, the bad, the pros, the cons, the due diligence. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm James Wise. This is Holton Wise TV. Freaking subscribe, man, because what we do, we help people like you, right? People who are investing in our market, in the Cleveland market. Excuse me why I itch my eye. Oh, man. My dog must be uh, farting on my pillow or something, you know? <laughs> All right. Now, who I'm working with today is my man, Andy. Andy's an out-of-country investor, right? He's been working with Holton Wise for a long time. What you want, Andy, you want low-cost uh, single-family real estate, right? Three beds, right? You're looking for at least three beds, okay? And I got a property that's going to make some sense for you, right? But, of course, I would never want you to buy it blind. I want you to get the due diligence, get an understanding of the market, get an understanding of the expectations, get an understanding of the ownership experience. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now, right after this. You might be wondering why I'm walking around in a bikini. Because this is America, that's why. Land of the free, home of the brave, the land of opportunity. Like the opportunity to click the link below and connect with motivated sellers nationwide. Welcome back. Let's jump into the numbers on the property, all right? So let me pop this up direct from the MLS, folks. 1317 West 9th Street, Lorraine. Five days on the market, $74.9,000, right? Just under 75 k And this, this is a nice one. You're going to need to move on this one quick if you want to take it down, right? Fresh reno. I like what these sellers did, right? They got the hardwoods. You got the, it looks like agreeable gray or some type of gray shade like that. The white trim. Maybe these sellers watch Holton Wise TV, man, because this is exactly what we want the rental properties to look like, right? You got the vinyl allure flooring. They really must watch this show, man, because they did a Holton Wise type rental. Although Holton Wise probably would have done something, uh, probably would have gray washed these bad boys here, but okay, it's okay. It'll work, right? This isn't uh, extremely expensive real estate, right? You're going to get tenants, you know, on a very moderate budget, so. All things being considered, this property is probably one of the nicest rental properties in these tenants' price range. And that's really what you want, man. You really want to have the nicest property because the tenants are going to want to stay there long term, right? The worst thing you could do as an investor is, is provide somebody a house where they're like, eh, it's okay till something better comes along, right? Because that's going to lead to more frequent turnovers. The more often people turn over, man, the more often you got to refresh the unit, dude. When you're investing in like CD neighborhoods, which that's what this is, right? It's a, you know, high D, low C grade neighborhood, right? Low income investing. When you're investing in these neighborhoods, man, right? When people move out, it don't look like this again, right? It's not going to be fresh. You're going to have to spend money, man. You don't want to do that, right? So make it nice, right? But they've taken care of the big ticket items for you, right? That's basically a brand new hot water tank, just so you are aware. They usually cost about 1000 to install them, right? They last 15 years, so you probably got about 14, 15 years left. I would assume it's probably totally fresh, right? Furnace. They cost about three grand, but they'll last you about 30 years. Also looks fresh, right? So your big ticket stuff, nothing to worry about there, right? No garage here. That's okay. Get, get like a nice little shed for the tenants. They'll be able to put their lawnmower in there, cut their grass. No biggie, right? This would be easily a $1,000 a month rental, right? I would prefer to put in a Section 8 tenant. I think that is the smart play. When you're in these lower-income neighborhoods, Section 8 tenants, especially in the day and age of the COVID restrictions on evictions, Section 8 tenants, in my mind, are the cheat code to low-income real estate investing, right? The biggest risk factor when you're investing in low-income real estate is your tenants not paying rent. First of all, you lose money from them not paying rent. Then you lose money because you got to pay us to go to court with an attorney to evict their asses, right? So you lost twice. Then... You lose again because you got to pay us to fix up the unit. Then you lose for a fourth time because you got to pay us to release the unit, right? Then you lose for a fifth time because it's going to take at least a month to get that done, right? So you lose five times. 
So the moral of the story is you want to keep people in your houses. That's why we renovate them, make them look nice, and that's why we like to go with these government-subsidized tenants, right? Because the risk, the risk of them not paying rent, it's almost gone because Uncle Sam is paying for the rent. Man, if Uncle Sam's writing checks, you might as well grab yours, dude, right? So assuming we go that route, Fixed and variable expense estimates that uh, you should anticipate, you know, no guarantees, but this is what I'd anticipate properties like this on an average basis performing. Like, I'd like to see you making a clean NOI of $64.79 for the year. Now, at the purchase price of $74.9, because I think you got to come in hot, right? I think we're going to have a bidding war here. So I think you come in at least at list price, if not above it. If you picked it up, if you're lucky to pick it up at list, you'd only be required to put down 18 and three quarters. Have the lender come in, give you a 30-year loan. Folks, if you need lenders, we got them. Shoot us an email, sales at holtonweiss.com. We'll get you our list. We got lenders that do uh, loans to investors in all 50 states. We got lenders that do loans uh, to investors in other countries. We got lenders who do hard money loans, private money loans, the whole friggin' shebang, commercial loans, whatever you need, hit us up. We got them. Also, lenders, if you want to get on a referral list, you got to uh, advertise on the show, click the Advertise With Us button on HoltonWise.com. But back to the numbers here, right? 74.9, you put down 18, bank kicks in 56, that projects out to a 19.5% cash on cash return. That's why people invest in markets like this, and in my opinion, you reduce the risk greatly by putting in those Section 8 tenants. That's why it makes sense to work with Holton Wise, because we are one of the few large property management operations out there in the Cleveland market that works with Section 8, right? You get a lot of property management companies that don't want to work with Section 8. And it's not necessarily because the tenants are more difficult. No, it's actually because the, the Section 8 uh, system, right? It works through housing authorities, and that's ran by the government. And dealing with the government involves a lot of bureaucracy, a lot of red tape, a lot of additional work. However, we're masters of it. We know what we're doing. We have all the information on that process on our FAC on HoltonWise.com, and we are ready, willing, and able to be your boots on the ground to handle all of it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.